Hey, Jalen, hey, con congrats on your 1,000 points. Well, you know, people think of you as a, a pass first guy, a big, lengthy defender, um, but you obviously can score too. I mean, how much, what would that mean to you to get 1,000? What do you think that says about your all around game and how cool was it to do it with, with JD, you know, hit the 1,000 on the same night? I mean, with JD, that's my brother, man. Since we've been down here, man, we just connected as, you know, that, like, he, I don't, I can't, I can literally count on my two hands, probably just the days that we haven't been together. You know what I mean? Since I've been down here. So just the chemistry between me and him, first and foremost, and it's only right that we did it on the same night, but really it just, it makes me feel really old, man. Like I've been in this thing for forever, ain't it? Like, and it took me a while to get to a thousand, didn't it? Like, geez, but you know, it's a great feeling, man. Just, it's a huge accomplishment. Uh, you know, there's a long list of guys that have done it before, and I'm glad that they held it up here, you know, in my transfer year and not being back at AKU. So just that they kept it along, man, and made this night special for me, man. It was just a great feeling. And then, you know, you're not from Arkansas. You're, you're new to Arkansas. But did you get a sense for what this the historical significance of this game? Arkansas had scheduled an state team in 70 years. And then did you get a sense for how hard UCA was going to play, what it meant to them? Uh, I definitely, like, you know, with these in-state rivals, man, when I was back at NKU, we would kill for the chance to play in uh, Kentucky, you know? So just when an in-state rival like UCA comes in, you know they're going to give us their best shot time and time again the entire game. They got a game plan, and they've got guys on that side that feel like they probably should have had the opportunity to play here. So it's pretty natural for a team like that, you know, in-state rival to come in here and play the way they did. All credit to them. I got a couple more. I'll, I'll turn it back over to, to Magic Mike. Scotty. Yeah, Jalen, I think JD scored 17 of his 22, like in the last seven plus minutes. I guess when he gets rolling, what is what is he doing well? What is it like to watch him? Man, he could really fill it up. He's a great player, man. You know, and it just, it's a credit to the work he puts in. We constantly talk about it when we get on here with you guys, and it's just the work, like the, the culture with that we've built is one of work, you know? Like, it's not normal for guys to come through here and not be in the gym every single day. And JD is one of those guys that's in here three, four times a day. So it's great to see it just pay off for him, man. And there's timeless times where, you know, I'm go pick up another one with him. You know, like, if he's going to the gym and, you know, we work out with the same guy here, like, day in and day out. So if he's going, you know, he motivates me a little bit to go. So just, and it's great seeing him do it. Curtis. Hey, Jalen, you looked really comfortable, I thought, on the, the floor tonight. And then, you know, as a team, you guys had 20, I think, 26 assists to just eight turnovers. Do you feel like things are really starting to click in terms of the, the chemistry and, and the ball movement and efficiency and all that? I think, obviously, you know, it comes with more games, playing together. And it's really clicking to the point where, you know, we, we all know we have enough weapons and enough pieces that if we move the ball, the defense has to break down. And anybody can go get their own shot. And when we move it the way we do, and there's less dribbling, more space, more passing, more cutting, more moving off the ball, it makes it that much easier to get other guys involved. And it just so happens that when I gave it up to them, my guys were making shots. So just all the credit to my teammates and the work that they put in every single day. Touch. Jalen, I don't think you shot the three at a super high rate at Northern Kentucky, but you're seven of 15 so far. Was that a point of emphasis for you this off season? And, and do you feel more comfortable doing that this year? Um, since I stepped foot here, really just trying to every single day just better my shot, whether it's off the dribble or step ins, and just trying to be the best player I can to help our team. Really, it's it's one of those things where we put in the type of work to where if you don't shoot it, you're taken away from what you've been doing and pretty much just wasting your time. So just trying to get more comfy taking the ones in rhythm. And when I don't take one, my teammates are there to tell me like, look, you were open, man. Like you got to knock that down and you're messing up our offense. So just another credit to them. I think Desi said it to me one time in the first half and I was just trying to keep the ball moving, but he definitely, and we pick each other up like that, you know, one another all the time. So it's just great having them on my side. Scotty. Yeah, Jalen, I think I saw you put up the binoculars after uh, one of your assists tonight. I guess just how proud are you of the 11 assists and just, you know, just getting your teammates so involved? I mean, the numbers don't mean so much to me. It's just the win, you know, and I'm trying to help as much as we can. Honestly, I wasn't even counting, you know, it was just as much as they're open. So I would love to get them the ball. And that's what the point guard supposed to do. That's my role on this team is to get everybody else going too. And so 
just seeing, like I said, the work that we put in pay off and just moving the ball. And it feels like we're finally starting to get it a little bit on the offensive end, just chemistry wise, just keep moving. And you know, the defense will eventually break down. Bob? Hey, yeah, Jalen, saw you hold up your, look like you got a couple fingers taped. Somebody said something about your ankle. What, what all do you have hurt? And you didn't look like you were hurt with the way you played. Um, let's just say nothing for now. Because <laughs> nobody really is worried about what I got injured, you know. I still got to go out there and play every single game, man. I got a couple little nicks and bruises throughout the week. I uh, definitely had a little ankle bruise from the last game. I think you guys saw that on tape. And then finger thing, I jammed it a little bit this week. So just something to not really look out for. But we got a whole week until our next game. So hopefully we'll be able to. Yes, that. that week, Eric said he'd rather be playing, which is kind of usually the players' attitude, not the coaches. But what what do you think about having eight days or I guess seven days between games? And what do you think will maybe be the point of emphasis this week? What, what can you guys do to get better for Oral Roberts? Um, we can just tighten up the screws, you know. I mean, you don't really want to turn the ball over. I mean, eight times we did a great job tonight, but I feel, still think we can move the ball better. We can play as a team on both sides of the ball better. We can definitely lock in. Giving up 75 t uh, points to a team tonight, you know, that's way too many. Get back to, you know, just locking in on defense, doing everything. I think we got a battle. We got beat on the boards, too. So just tightening up everything. Uh, we got two better opponents than, well, from what I hear and, you know, some of the games that I've seen, we got two pretty good opponents coming up and two of the better teams we play this season. So just locking in on that stuff and just, Hopefully we can get to you to ride this out. Okay, thanks. Yeah, appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, guys.